In this video, I'm going to be recreating the Justice League trailer title shot. So I'm going to take a look at a screenshot here that I took. In the shot, there's this text that has this cement concrete background. And then behind the text, there's a dark blue concrete background as well. So I'm going to create a new composition and import an image of concrete. Now to match the dark blue coloring with the white specs, I'm going to invert the colors by going effect, color correction, tint, and mapping white to dark blue, and then mapping black to white. So this obviously is a little bit too, too light. I'm going to click on color correction, brightness and contrast. I'm going to bring the brightness down and then lower the contrast as well and change this a little bit to make it look a little bit more blue and that looks pretty good the next thing that needs to be imported is the logo so to replace this white with this concrete image I'm going to I'm going to click effects color correction tint and map white to bright green and then set the mode to lighten to erase the black background. Now I'm going to hide this real quick and import the smoke and particles that are featured in the trailer. So I imported smoke footage that I'm going to line up here. I'm going to have it start here, set it to screen, and press T to open up opacity. Start a keyframe at the beginning at around 30% and a couple seconds in I'm going to drag it down to zero so it fades out. So now for the particles same thing I'm going to set this to screen and I'm just going to drop the opacity of this down to about 20 percent and leave it there. I'm actually going to decrease the opacity of the smoke a bit more and there we go. So select all four layers and pre-compose them. And now I'm going to import another layer of concrete. This is going to be going behind this text. So I'm going to drag the concrete behind the text. Select the top layer, click effect, keying, key light. And then I'm going to click on this little dropper here and then click on the green here to key out the green and replace it with the concrete. One final thing, I'm going to adjust the contrast on this um, concrete layer to make the white look a little bit more white and then the dark sections look a little bit more black. So same thing I've been doing, um, brightness and contrast. And that looks pretty good. Okay, pre-compose one more time, press S to open up the scale, put a keyframe at the beginning, put another keyframe a couple seconds in, and have it zoom in a little bit, drag this. That's what this looks like. Now I'm going to use my own text instead of the image that I found. So I'm going to open up these pre-compositions, I'm going to delete the logo, and I'm going to type text in here. This is just going to be a quick test. And one thing the logo had is that it looked a little bit softer on the edges and this looks very sharp so I'm going to go effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur and just blur it by one. So if you go over to the composition here it does look a little bit um, a little bit pink so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to set this back to black and then key it again and that fixes that problem. And so there you have it. If you liked this video, subscribe for more After Effects tutorials in the future and check out the description. There's going to be a download link for the font that I used as well as all of the pictures of the concrete and download links for the videos that I used for the smoke and the particles. 
so you can recreate this step by step using all the same files that I did. Thanks for watching.